Hi everyone, it's Fridia, and today is April 13th, 2015, and yesterday I found out I'm pregnant. Ooh, this is so weird. Oh my gosh, okay. What? <gasps> what? So the last time that I missed a period, I went five days, and during that time, um, I did a pregnancy test, and it said it was not pregnant. But I was like, well, I've never been late. This is so weird. So I went to the doctor, did a blood test, and the day, the next day they called me back and said, you are not pregnant. That's the day when my period came. And I was just like, oh, bummer. Okay. This time, the day before my period started, I was just feeling weird. Just something was feeling off. But I thought, hey, why not do a pregnancy test? So I did, and it said, not pregnant. So I was like, you know, telling my husband, oh, I'm not pregnant again, um, we're just gonna have to keep trying. Five days go by, and I'm like, okay, this is sort of deja vu, but I'm not gonna rush into it. I just told myself, okay, if two more days and my period doesn't come, then I'll just take another test and see what happens. Maybe I'm just overly stressed and, you know, my lady time hasn't come yet. Um, maybe it's just late. So I took a test yesterday morning with my husband, and it came out to be pregnant. It's April 12th, Sunday morning, and I haven't had my ladies month, period, <laughs> <laughs> for today is the seventh day, and usually I'm right on time, but um, the last time I missed five days, I thought I was pregnant, did a test, was not pregnant. Today's seven days, so I took a pregnancy test, I put it back in the package, and with that guy over there, we're going to go take a look at it. So this is, usually I get <laughs> not pregnant. And then I got the clear blue because it just says what it is. So I put it back in there. I feel sick to my stomach. Okay. Mm. So, do you want to pull it out? What? Uh... What? <gasps> what? <laughs> Did you see this before? No. Did you see it before? <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're kidding, right? I have Wait. one more. I think I should pee on it again. Do it again. It says pregnant. They what do you never think? I had pregnant before. <laughs> it's really happening. But I, I can't believe it. You're so pregnant. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, well, we'll just stand here and cry for a little bit. Yeah. Do you want to watch me pee on another stick? Uh, holy crap! That. <laughs> that's what it says. It says pregnant. Um, it's like surreal. It's like I don't even. Do you believe it? <laughs> like I don't believe it. Are we allowed to trust the stick? <laughs> I've been trying so many times, how- <laughs> It's been 10 months that we've tried. Oh. So. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, I guess we're gonna be parents. <laughs> I don't believe it still. It's like a I weird- it's like a either. weird dream. Isn't it? Let's look at that again. Okay. <laughs> Should we frame it? Um. That's crazy. That was the first time, and I, I mean, it's so weird, because you've had not pregnant for the longest time, and then it says pregnant, and you're like, really? Is this for real? Is this real life? Like, I still can't believe it. I'm actually going to my first doctor's appointment today. From these new pregnancy apps, I found out that you go from the first day of your last period, and mine was March 9th, which makes me five weeks pregnant, I guess? I'm still new to all this, you guys. I have no clue. And my embryo is the size of a red lentil. So my husband and I, <laughs> last night we've been calling it the bean. So right now it's just a bean. We told his parents and his family because they're close by. Uh, so we have some, uh, some news for you guys. You guys are going to be grandparents. Congratulations. 
So it happened. Uh, we're both no, like. I didn't have her. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're both crying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Let's do a reenactment of Game of Thrones. Okay. Okay. Freedia, you be the mountain. Freedia! <laughs> yes. You are the mother of dragons. No, I'm the mother of Sunny's child. Yeah! <laughs> Everybody, we're pregnant. Oh my god, that's amazing! Yes, <laughs> the dogs are excited. <laughs> and I'm about to tell my good two friends. Um, I just can't get a hold of them. They're not picking up. And I'm gonna tell my dad later in the week because I know he's busy. <laughs> I haven't told anyone yet because I have read a lot of miscarriage stories and my friends have gone through miscarriages so my plan is to wait until at least 12 weeks to announce it so you guys are in the future <laughs> Hi future! This means that everything so far has been okay. That's the only thing I'm scared of really. I'm trying not to stress and not think about it and just be like healthy and happy and positive. I'm pregnant! <laughs> Thank you guys so so much for watching and um, I'll keep you posted. Alright, subscribe if you haven't and I'll talk to you soon. Bye! Hi everyone, it's Fridia here, and today, as you see in the title, I want to talk to you about babies and conceiving after the age of 30. Just like any modern woman, I waited, I put my career first, 